Welcome back. In this video, we shall discuss the most important part of Bootstrap to me. I call it the most important because it is the section that controls the mobile friendliness of Bootstrap websites the way you want it. To understand properly, let's head over to the Bootstrap website and search for display. So let's go to the documentation and let's say display. So this is what we have here. In this section, we shall see the display settings for different screen sizes. So if I want anything at all on my website to be hidden on all screen sizes, I'll just use this class D hyphen none in my class attributes. And something to note when copying this class value to paste in your class attributes, always ensure you don't copy the dot signs here, the dot signs here also, the dot signs on everything here. The dot signs are actually placed here to make you understand that actually this is a class value and you have to paste it in a class attribute, not an ID. Remember in our HTML and CSS class, we said the class value is called with the dot notation and the ID value is called with the pound notation. So when copying this to paste in your HTML class, avoid copying it with a dot notation. So if I want something to be hidden on my website when it's on a mobile screen, which is excess, I'll use this D hyphen SM block and D hyphen none in my class attributes. If I want, maybe if I have a video and I want it to be hidden, on the medium size screen I use this but when I want it to be hidden on a large screen which is LG I'd use this if I want it to be hidden on an extra large screen like on an extra large screen I'd use this but if I want it if I want anything on my website to be visible on all screen sizes I'd use visible on all I'd use this class visible on XS visible on SM visible on MD just like that so when you want to build a mobile version of your website these classes here will come in really handy and it's going to help you cut down so many processes when making your website mobile friendly now fact is you are supposed to have a design sense for your mobile display differently from the display of a laptop and a desktop screen although this should not affect the functionality of the website. For example, if it's supposed to be a website for bio data registration, do not let the registration functionality suffer because you are trying to get a mobile design that is good. Let all screen sizes retain the functionality of the website, which is the registration functionality. So let us demonstrate the display classes and see how amazing it is practically. Let's say I have a div here class of container and I have a div here and I, and I set a row and in my row I say let's set this to 6 for MV no, let's say 8 here and in my Eight column. I want to have a form there. I just come to the website, look for a form, and let me copy this. And let me paste it. Let's save this. So, as you can see, in my call MD8, I have a form. Now, I still have four columns undefined yet. So, I'll have to do that by coming outside the call MD8 and define a column and define a call MD4. Here I just say, i put a paragraph so I can say, this is my form used for 
sending data to my analyst and I'll save that now let's head over to the browser and see what we have let's refresh this as you can see we have the form here on the left side of our website and we have this is my form used for sending data to my analyst on the right side of my website now let's view this on a mobile screen so I can say inspect and toggle it right here then as you can see it's actually responsive but if I don't want this is my form used for sending data to my analyst to appear on a mobile screen and this can actually be an image this can be a video this can be anything if I don't want anything at all to show on my website when it's in the mobile display all I have to do is come over to the bootstrap website here and search for display and come over here to this table and and you can see it's in hidden only on XS which is extra small a mobile phone so I'll copy this class here Denon DSM block and I'll come over here to my code and I'll paste it here get rid of this dot notation I'll save it now let's get back to our mobile display and refresh to see what we have as you can see it's no more displaying in our mobile version so let's go back to our desktop version to see if it's going to be displayed so come over here close this and it's displayed in our desktop version so you can use this display property actually to play around with everything you want to be displayed on any size of any screen and make your website very very responsive and very very beautiful across all screen sizes and all devices thank you very much in our next video we shall build a responsive website from scratch using HTML CSS and bootstrap don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much